Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is video number 12 in our series, statelesscode.com, WordPress. So uh, I think I'm going to be able to knock these out, just increasing the top margin and the left mar reducing the left margin on the XL. So we'll get going on that. So if we go to the header here, I've got the image and let's see here. So this is inset from that header, so I might need to change the the nesting here or the um, the margin top. So that's inline block. I've got a margin top there. I do not have a margin top on my image. Let's go to our layout. So it's got the flex box. I'm just trying to launch a new window when I click on the Chrome I Chromium icon in my other item. All right. Let's take a look here. No, oh, increase. So yeah, I can increase pretty easily. I was thinking I had to decrease. I just Try that out, see where that gets us. All right. So that gets us a little bit too low on non mobile. spot for mobile other than it causing the tagline to word wrap I think I'm going to change the tagline anyway so let me take another look at the let me just reduce this to three That looks better for mobile. And it looks better for non-mobile. So I think we're good there. Let's go in to the Admin, let's, apparently I need to log back in. All right, we're back in. Let's go to settings, general. Let's go to on. Save change. So 
when we do it that way, I need to increase the, the left margin on that tagline. See what that does for us. And we'll go smaller, so medium, and increase it some. A look at the mobile. Mobile looks good. So medium needs to get larger or small. I just need to pad it a little bit. these a little better. So they're not going off the page. Okay. So Just get those aligned with each other. And I want to make now that it's shorter, I think I can increase the let's try this at semi bold. like in between that.
10 years old. Customizing. So there's some documentation about this. I was wondering, I don't, haven't done a lot with font weight in CSS recently, so let me look that up some. So from a brief perusal of the Mozilla docs, I don't think that I can make this like 550 or something like that, which is where I want it. That seems really skinny now, did I? It's just a really weird gap where it goes from two skin, like the, the gap between, is it 500 and 600 is particularly, the, the step on that font, I, I wish there was an in-between thing, but uh, I think that's, again, in the interest of good enough. I think we can call this one done. I'll commit that change. So got our commit message and we'll save this, push it. backlog item done. Now let's take a look at reducing the margin on the Excel. So we can get down to, oops, see here it's fine. Here in large, I probably still want to even out those left and right margins, like keep the same overall width, but um, change that a little bit. And then once we get to Excel, it's really out there. So let's go into our So I think it's just our content main. So our CSS has the, the information about these. So I'm gonna keep the, um, the margins. Let me just take a look universally whether I'm okay with, so once we get here, I think I'm okay with that. And then from large on up is when I wanna make the modifications. So I want them to essentially the, the left plus right to um, equal the same value. So uh, I'm just going to um, maybe make this eighteen on each. And then on two XL our next break point there. I 
do 56. Yes. Let's try that out and compile it. And we have an error. Large margin left 18 does not exist. All right, so let's try 20. shot and we have a, su a successful compilation so let's see that did not modify my my left at all now it does It's awkward there, but I think I can go even farther, unless I, I, I don't intend on having any kind of gutter content here to the left. So let's bring these down even farther. Let's see what happens if we just take everything above medium out. All right, we're compiled. Let's see where this takes us. takes us to about half the screen and we've got that long unbreaking content there which I think can work because that's still readable let's scrunch things down Still readable. Kind of gets awkward around there. Initial large breakpoint, I think, is where. Let me check the tailwind docks, what their breakpoints are. So, this is our set of breakpoints here. So, medium seems to work fine. Large is where we start the problems. And then So large, we're, we're broken. Excel looks fine. And then two XL. So large is where we need to fix our combination of the post content and the so let's take a look at large and 
XL. Try this again. So now try to get smaller. So it's not. Deal. So I'll, I'll have to change the sidebar styling, but it, it's less broken now on the large. Um, so I think this is good enough to go with. We can work on. We already have the sidebar as a an item to do. So let's. Only the app dot CSS that we're changing. Actually, pause this time. Got my message. Push. Got everything we need, we do. Move that to done, and we'll try to get this onto our real site in the next episode. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.